I thought it'd come off to be fair. No, I don't want to take one. That's why I just sat behind everybody. First of these two one. We do it there, ground one apiece and got to win. Alright, this panel's sacked over. I've been sacked here. I did FC United in Manchester a couple of weeks ago, so there was like four and a half thousand there, something sort of big, big game. Sheffield doing a cup, I'd like to go out with him and try and fucking win this. So, cup action today, Daz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting one, because I don't know a lot about these. Um, we've got a few missing, but we've got a strong enough team to hopefully get the right result. So how are you going to cope without Jake? Uh, easy, easy. So, just team talks and he's good at talking, I'm not. <laughs> Has he uh, spoke to you this morning about the Yeah, he ain't stopped, stopped texting me. He ain't stopped texting me. What's team? I've told him team five times. And what we both agreed on midweek. And what's, it, what's he going to do about during the match? Oh, I'm sure Billy will be. He'll be having Billy as his commentator. Do you think he won't be making subs from where he is, will he, Jake? <laughs> Texting me to make subs. He'll be getting Billy, he'll be getting you to a live live stream to his phone on camera. Uh, uh, Don, did you want to know about your goal on Sunday, mate? I'm against Ledger's team. You've seen it? What kind of goal is it? Just an absolute rocket. Oh, yeah, Even yeah, Scott Ledger's shouting on the sideline, you need to be saving that. Get it watched. <laughs> Big guns here today, aren't they? Yeah, we are. We are. We went out last week, didn't we? Yes, boys. Yeah, they're not coming. No. He came out for one fight last week, didn't he? Oh, is he on a bad one? I don't know. What's it? Well, he come, come yeah, up. Yeah. Two walks about seven. Yeah, but you can play off the game. Yeah, Shane, the streaker. Yeah. Oh, you know. No, Shane, it's Shane. That's all I've seen. Oh, everyone has, everyone has sighted. Someone came up to me over there and goes, I can't believe that. He's good at football. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, with Lee walks about at work, he's fucking useless. Useless at work. Like that, mate, beyond. And then he goes to me, I'm preserving my energy for Saturday. This is on a fucking Monday morning. We could ring Monday and Tuesday and then. Same week, same week, same week, same week, same week. You know, if we had a game on a Tuesday, there's no point in going to work on it. Best pegger in Barnsley? Oh, fucking definitely. That Billy's fucking crap. So, what's the method? Have you got a secret formula for this? Yeah. Shove them in and crack them. Easy. I've got to be good at something. And then uh, he said you about you being first team manager for a year as well. Oh, I was rubbish. I've only man who's been sacked here. But that was due to my assistant. And who was that? Jobby. Yeah, we got back into Premier. James and we got back into Premier. Then the set changing rooms down there were no good. So we had to play up at. Rockingham, and I made the wise decision to fetch Paul Cave that year, and we've never looked back. Oh, well, you were heartbroken a bit by not getting promoted? We got promoted, but we had to play up there. Ah, oh, right. And then I've, I've, I'm an hands on guy. If everything's going, not going right, uh, I'm not happy. So, Paul, being the man he is, I asked him to take the job on. And it came upwards. Kept us up while well, we got these changing rooms done. He had another year, and I'd been wanting Teddy back since he left, and he finally said he was coming back. And this is where we are. I now. never looked back. Yes. My first season for one more man was 1983. The first season. So it's your anniversary year this year, then, yeah. isn't it? 40 yes. years. Yes, that was my first season. Because I played down at Royal Oak Rovers, who played on this ground. Uh, my first from 1980. So yeah, referee on this um, line on Northern Premier League. Uh, also observe level four referees, level five referees coming through. To Do you think you could go quite further? Uh, not not my age, no. No, I'm, I'm a little bit older. So than how did you get into so. it? Uh, my son's team were uh, they had a, they were asking referees so the under eights, under nines. Used to play at Bait and Magpies, so they were, they wanted a parent, so they, the club paid for me to. They said, "Oh, do you want to do, you want to do the FA course to be a referee?" 
We so, didn't yeah. plan on going either. No, 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 no. When he when he got to sixteen and eighteen, then the uh, I decided to carry on doing adult football. Then after that, so. so can you remember where you first went as an adult football? Yeah, Answorth. Answorth. Uh, well, before they had Oliver's Mount, like playing somewhere up at Answorth. Yeah, so as as a line on County Senior League. That was probably quite yeah. a good introduction, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good club. Yeah, yeah, good setup. Yeah, I think you were. I think Richard Trinder might have been referee actually. And he's uh, he's still doing a bit. So yeah. But I bet you had some eye open experiences after that though. Yeah, all, all sorts. Different levels. You see it at different levels. You know, you could be doing under 18s game. Something happens, and you get. You know, you could be doing academy games behind the closed doors games for you know for the local teams like Barnsley, Chef Wednesday. Chef so what, Northern Premier League is obviously a lot different. You can end up with where there's yeah. 2,000 people watching. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you prefer doing this level where you can relate to a lot of the lads, or do you like prefer doing sort of higher up? There's there's sort of bit said to both real. I mean, that obviously there's a big one there. So I did FC United in Manchester a couple of weeks ago. So there was like four and a half thousand there. Something so a big big game, a lot of atmosphere. Then you come here and you see see lads that are coming through that you've probably refereed under 18s that are getting a chance to come through, play for reserves, play for first team. So you you know you, you get some out of seeing those lads because you you know you can relate to these guys. You can't really relate to the the guys further up because they uh, you know a lot of them think they've made it and they don't want to you know, they don't even have a conversation with an official. But these guys you can you can talk to these guys and it's it's more of a you know more of a welcoming atmosphere here than it is at that level. But you've been here a few times, haven't you? Yeah, refereed here a few times. It's only about two or three weeks ago, charity cup game. Uh, Controversy. won nine nil. <laughs> Controversy though. Oh yeah, well, yeah, oh, yeah. We had to have a red card. It was the red card stand, didn't it? But yeah, nine, nine nil, and it was. Probably could have been 15. But you must have, obviously we regard ourselves as a friendly club here, you must have some good memories of coming here. Yeah, oh yeah, I've refereed loads of times. I say, you know, not just the first in the reserves, but also the younger teams, under 18s. But yeah, Terry, Jake, obviously been working with these guys for years on a, on a local level, so yeah. What would you say is your best memory as a referee? Or best achievement? Uh, best achievement so far, um, did Rotherham Charity Cup final last year, refereed that up at Rotherham's ground, so that was decent. Uh, I should have had it the year before, but it was an holiday. So I, to, I missed I missed out on it. Uh, so yeah, that was great to, to referee on a on a championship ground, you know, with a with a team of three. That was brilliant. And then obviously I'm doing the, the Northern Prem, so we're getting some good games on that. So you look at refereeing. Now tw I remember when I was 14, which was 20 years ago, they put in adverts saying we're struggling for refs, we can't yeah. get any. Yeah. But that was before they went full time in the yeah. Premier League. Yeah. So there's now a pathway, isn't there? If you yeah. were 14. You should be dreaming of Absolutely. going up right to the yeah. top. Yeah. Do you feel that there's a struggle for referees from yeah. what you see? Or yeah, there is a struggle for referees. I know I speak to the RDO at Sheffield there and he's, there's a lot of people on the courses. The courses are booked up constantly, but a lot of them are just doing it for the local club. They don't really want to get into adult football and then they're seeing the, the stories on Twitter. and you know, they're, they're sort Oh, you of... think it does put people off, oh, yeah. genuinely? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know when you see there's been a lot of incidents particularly Liverpool and yeah. Manchester where they're yeah. going in and going on strike oh yeah do you think it's prevalent those kind of issues in terms of the incidents they're having in those areas are prevalent in the South Yorkshire yeah everywhere you go you'll see something Rotherham Sunday League which I don't actually ref on anymore but you'll you'll see something there most weeks where there's either been a game abandoned someone's been threatened someone's been punched attacked or whatever yeah and it's, it's sad to see really for, you know, it, it does put people off coming through you know you want that I mean Sheffield have got about 800 referees I think something like that what would you say though would you turn around and be zero tons and say that a, never, a referee's never going to that ground again if say if something happened yeah if you're if you're, you know, if you're, if you're seeing scenes like that and it's a certain club that's cropping up on a regular basis then yeah, something he's doing about but that but it does have county senior le league level it is a good level where yeah referees the, on a whole are treated with respect yeah this, this this league at the minute I think the last two or three years has, has come on I think the, the standard in the in the games has, has come on you can see the footballers are coming through the, they've got a better sort of footing through football now they? so they start young they're starting under eights and they're working their way through so one well for example today got teams all the way through from probably seven seven year old all the way through so they're getting an opportunity now so see these guys warming up today they're they're actually going to get a chance to get through into the reserves, into the first team, and they can see some progression rather than just get to 18s and then fall away. So you've got this Titanic Cup battle today. What have you got coming up in the next few weeks? Yeah, so yeah, I've got this one today, and then I've got uh, just a small game at Matlock Town next Saturday. So in the Northern Do you know Prem, the plane? <laughs> yeah. uh, they're playing Warrington Rylands. Oh, that'll be a good so game. Then, yeah. Decent game, yeah. So that's uh, that's the next uh, next one after this, yeah. Well, let's hope there's nobody shouting at you end of the game today. Yeah, we'll get on there, right? Yeah. Hey! Hey!
Mixed people in it again, everybody involved, team, teamwork. Play go! Fucking hell! Yes! Come on, fucking hell, Daz, how are you fucking calling me? Fuck me! Oh! Yeah! Hey, you went in there, huh? You can't go in there, huh? You can't go in there, huh? Fuck about it. I think three o'clock kickoffs. What does it for me? Like, if it would interest me a three o'clock kickoff. You know, like, sometimes I'm like, where's your full day? Sometimes. So, what would you do if you were at league? One o'clock, two o'clock kickoffs? Yeah. One o'clock, two o'clock is better than three o'clock. You waste your full day, you sat about waiting, waiting for footy. It's six o'clock by the time you get home, and not everybody wants to do it. Everyone's got families, kids, stuff like that. So, like, if you're a missus or something, and it's a long day for them with kids, leaving them with kids while we're all. <laughs> so you think that's why clubs can't get players now? I don't reason. think that's just reason. Level. I don't think that's just reason, but it is one of the reasons. Like it puts me off a bit of three o'clock kickoff. Like when I see it's three o'clock kickoff, it's a bit more of a chore. Like when I sneak with twelve this week, I'll buzz him. But then obviously got changed again. But, like Sunday mornings, eleven o'clock, you play. That's it. You got rest of your day. Because it is on its knees this level of football, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Standard seems to have got worse. So I, I played. I think Sunday league's probably better standard than this nowadays. <laughs> I suppose like I say, if it's three o'clock you can't go out, can you? Yeah, that's what I mean, you can't do it. You can't, you can't do it in the morning because you've got to get back to football. You can't do it after football because it's six o'clock by the time you get home. I wish all lads have a pint. Like one o'clock, two o'clock kick off, it's not too bad. But three o'clock is just a chore. Just to touch on last week, uh, I thought we were unlucky last week. 2 0 down at half time, we showed some great character to get back to two apiece, then we lost it manner as we, as we did with the in that bank decision. Uh, uh, that's what I under the bridge though. This week, Sheffield doing a cup, I'd like to go out way and try and win this, if we can. So how we've got here today is as good as all we've got. Um, team that we're going to pick, I just want you to play with confidence, discipline, win your personal battle. That's what it's about. We've got subs on bench that can come on and so does I'm fucked. I'll get you off and it's roll and roll off. You know what it's called, it's roll and roll off. So it's just straight to penalties as well. Yeah, I think you said straight to penalties. I think I'll take him over. So I'll just go through the first thing. Uh, Audit net, no problems with you all mates. Same as last week mate, yeah. It's been loud and loud to back three and organise you. Yeah. Uh, Luke, centre. You organise back three, mate. You'll play at central point. Yeah, yeah organise your back three. Um, three kicks at Thornton. And I have to. Yeah, oh, to I don't know. Two left last week, I'm on. I'm on. It's good, eh? Don't put me in jail. Just tell me, I'm on. Kian? Yes, Kian, yeah. You're going to sit in the middle of three, mate, yeah? Yeah. Do so what you did last week, mate. Come on, I thought you had a real good game last week. Just say it again, yeah? Be positive. Go forward if we can. And when your personal battles in there. Uh, and a and Atley in the middle of the park. Yeah, you have two gears and a G. He's sitting, Kieran. Kieran's going to duck sitting, yeah. You have two. Just go right in there, yeah. Only yeah, fucking toss me off, though. No, Atley. No. Yeah, Quality of ball, yeah. Try and play strikers in when we can, yeah. You know what, you're afraid we'll look for set pieces, alright? You can have a good time with them then. I tell you what, first thing there wasn't it? It was off at fence, look, he's on him. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, up front, we're going to start with Sega and Azza. Where's Azza? Oh, Azza oh, up front. Oh, cow. Oh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I put 11 on it, you know. You're all just. I don't want to see their defenders have a second on ball. Yeah. Let's get into these two feet, then work around them. Yeah. Start up yeah. front foot, try and start up front foot, confidence, <coughs> yeah, get out to white at Matty and Saunders. And Let's not be fucking quiet, yeah, right? You can win this, we just fucking shout at the cat wing. From corners, but yeah. Matty, Kian and Bennett. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. it's unbelievable, yeah, I mean. Kian, Matty and... I'm being on the look, yeah. 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 I can win off the long foot. I've got it. It's for a long throw. Yeah, he's not, he's not, oh, that's not a long throw. You've got a medium 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 throw. Yeah, yeah. Right, come on then. Come on, don't go. 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 Come on,
Tits, you going up? Yeah. So how long have you been coming down here? Since probably 1983. I used to be a sub. I used to get on. Do my bit, why? You know, and Bill Roby. <laughs> Only got ten well here. What the sub for us? I says, well, I'll play, Bill. If you've only got ten. Hey, so somebody's coming at half time, well here. It's the place to be. Up. You know, all your worries are just they're just go. Jack's the hill up. Another legend. Played these fifty years since. Listen to this one. In semi-final at Sheffield Junior Shield, and at that time there were seven hundred odd teams. And we lost to these two one. We drew up there, ground one apiece and got stoned. Not as in stone. Yeah, stoned. Not like not that. Stoned. Not Woodstock stoned. 50 Actual years stoned. In. With stones. We played them here, they were five deep. We lost two one. And now it's going. Got to get that in. <laughs> well, didn't it? A secret elephant and he used to stroke it. A brass brass elephant. He used to stroke it. He used to get, bring us luck. By one of the one of the best. And did it do any good? He brought it, well, he brought us low. He won loads of trophies. Size of an elephant! It was massive. Have you not got it anymore then? I'll go in some in the house, he'll get it me, I want it, want it better players than one get it me. Oh, young Jay Gallard. Finish us. Now then! Fuck! Oh. So, has he? What are they doing? Ah! Should be 5 0 up in my eyes at least, and that's been generous to them by them. Last 20, I think we've just gone a bit sloppy, boys, if I'm being honest, yeah. from the side line. Just doing things wrong way. Yeah, just trying to strike his feet a bit more. Oh, on throw ins, when either side, it doesn't matter which either side. Let's not suck everybody in. And he'll stay out, he'll stay in fit. It's like I know, but it's just getting closed in so easy. It's like, it's like strikers with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Alright. Um, other than that, boys, we just need to do a bit more finish for it. One nil. We're letting them get back in. These, these, this we game should be put to bed. If we get two or three, these will fucking go. Deep in your knee, Alan, mate, so be careful, yeah. So, yeah. 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 shut your fucking mouth. Nah. I like the way we tell them, then fucking keep ball away, got yeah. one. Yeah, let's keep us disciplined, because these are one to know what the fuck is yeah. on about. Yeah. Rest, 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 look into gauge yellow cards, that. So, yeah. let's, you know, let's just be a bit more disciplined. Boys. Honestly, boys, if we get another oh. two, they'll be fucking gone, these. Let's yeah, play it ball yeah. a bit quicker. Yeah, the, it? Well, if we play it ball a bit quicker, these can't be played. We've created five, six, seven chances, because we've played ball quick. Straight in. Let's play more ball, ball. Yeah. Just Arvin is a fucking Arvin, just a shot. Just swap their boots over, fuck the left of the... Any chances? Poor, poor decision. How many chances? About eight. Poor. Direct time. I think they've had more, but more of a... Direct. Definitely direct. Ben's going to score it. 
risky with that like this. Well, we just need to be clinical, boys. Oh, That's all I can say. Confident about it. Yeah. I think I it. think only thing they've got is this kid out here on left cheek. Yeah, I right. think he's there out though, but he's not. He's not hey to open nets they want there no we open nets oh no we knew to open nets that way I'm surprised they had to do the player up high one as bad as Barnsley Town though wasn't it what are we going to do if it go if they get an equaliser goes to penalties we're not getting it is he taking one if it goes to pens no I am no him I'll take first me and Atley take him don't we what about Ellis what are we going to do about him Atley Ellis is going Last. I'll just take him before Ellis. Sub him off. Yeah. Sub him off for fucking Daz. Ellis, you do know this game could go to penalties. Never mind, no pressure on this game, is there? Not on a Rezzy's game, not different at Mont. No, it's... Is that near? Oh, do you know what it was? No, you just gave some off. But Sunday side, I, I took a pen not long, not long before, put it in the exact same spot and it went in. So I tried replicating it and I just fucking scuffed it. Come on, straight in, boys, come up! Get away! Then you go first. Then me, yeah. Then a four. As a first. Yeah. Tell him me for. Let's get a stick in the jacket. 
we go. Put them on. Boys, let's fucking make it happen. No, that game should have been over about. Fucking hell, not Boys, throw it away, aren't we? Can't finish all. Didn't finish all. I've never lost a fucking toss in my life. Tails never fails. No, they tap a pint. You've been involved in a shoot up before, Fenners. You've been involved in a shoot up before. Yeah, mate, that's one field to be fair. We threw it away though at first. Fuck We're very lucky. Away. I agree. On it, brilliant. After, I didn't think you'd fucking score. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, have Get you won many penalty shootouts yeah, in the past? That's my game. That is my game. <laughs> What were you thinking though when it went 2-2? Two, two? Oh, I would have sat. I thought it to come off to be fair. No, I don't want to take one. That's why I just sat behind everybody. Just hoping, hoping it didn't come to me. What number were you on list? None. I was just, just hoping that it didn't get to it. But what did you think to the game? Because we should have 2-0 up. Well, first day it should have been outside, about 5-0. Like then you bring me on and then that's when the game goes, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't have a touch. I think we deserve to win though. Yeah, definitely. Is what it is. We're not, we're chances. How many chances yeah. did we miss? It should have been 7 0 at half time. So, well, this was this is the story of football, isn't it? It's what happens when you don't take your chances, it comes yeah, back to bite you. So, we've been very lucky, haven't so we? We 2 0 up and then we took his foot off, got stopped working, energy, energy levels dropped, and that's what happens. Credit to them for getting back into the game. But... Relief is that the right that's word? Relief yeah. is that the word? Relief, but. We won't win, we've got to be better. I think they just lost the bit in the last 20 minutes, James. We've gone from being comfortable to being held, holding on. And then very lucky at the end of it all. Yes, yeah, yeah. Nice chances we've missed. Damn, dear me. 
<laughs> that has it. I think, it, I think it should have been over at half time that, but I, we played well all the way through. It, we, we were just hanging on, really, at the end, but I, we've done well. We should have absolutely battered them. Where would he on this does for penalties? Oh, far down, me, definitely. It didn't, it didn't nominate far him, down. so. I think with performance, I'd be back to North Day, because we were first half stand up before me, then. For 90 minutes, really, we're our best player back up to So, move on to the next round. Next round, see what we get. So we didn't, we didn't uh, as I said, we didn't, we didn't bag, hot draw, so see how we get. All